to the channels, boys and girls, as you probably can hear. It's absolutely pouring down with rain here in the UK. Um, this is the day after we've just had uh, our second storm of the week. Um, so, yeah, it's not been nice out there in the UK. So it's another garage vlog today, guys. All right. But um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. But also check out the new YouTube, which I uh, set up group. It's the engine ride. I put another thing on the screen here, like I uh, told you guys last week. So, um, so yeah. So yeah, if you could check out that, that'd be great. So on to this next uh, video vlog. Uh, now today I've got two mods. That's right, two mods. So I'll spin the camera now and show you what we're doing. Right, and here it is. One in there, and one in there. So I'm gonna get the wrapping open and uh, let's see what's in the packages this week <laughs> first of all I'll, uh, I'll apologize now if you're hearing the rain beating off the garage all right off the garage door but yeah it's not the nicest anyway on to today's vlog yep yeah. I've got speedo angels it's a motorcycle dashboard screen protector that's the first one I'm gonna put on I was going to put one of these on right really early on when I got the bike. It's just one of those things I've just never got around to doing. Um, but yeah, if you any of you guys watch uh, TMF, um, if you use his discount code, yeah, I've got about two pound. I think it's about two pound twenty off this. So um, with his discount, so um, yeah, well worth following TMF. I'm sure most of you do. But um, yeah, use his discount, you'll get this. So I think it cost me about eight pounds something. Um, delivered basically so basically you get two clear screen protectors which will go on here and here on the dials obviously but yeah it's for the bonneville range they do it for all types of motorcycles i'm not sponsored by the way hence why you have to use a tmf discount but um yeah i'll see how i get on and i'll let you know but yeah it's meant to help for anti-scratching and um, tailored fit bubble free uh, the kit's included now you put it on an easy install so uh, yeah looking forward to that so uh, yeah hopefully um, my styles haven't been marked as it is yet as present in 10 months of ownership but hopefully uh, this will protect it a bit more so let's get them fitted and then we'll get on to the next mod after that so inside the little packet you get your, your cleaner thing to put the screen on uh, you get your wet wipes and you get a dust dust absorber as well so there you go that's all what you get in the kit and like I said four of these so uh, here we go well, it's a good job that I'm not endorsed by these I don't know if it was a temperature but I followed all their guides and I just couldn't get them to set up and stick properly so yeah eight pounds I think won't waste your money guys so on to the next mod sorry speedo angels just how I found this so um, yeah I, I won't be using them like I said my screens haven't been scratched yet anyway if they do get scratched it is what it is but they've been a waste of time for me so cool on to the next mod so what was the next mod Ta -da! yeah screen or no screen I decided to do one ready for when I go on a couple of trips away this year whether it'll stay on all the time we'll find out but yeah this is what I bought I bought the classic one so obviously you've probably seen all this sort of stuff before um, but yeah this is the box it comes in which is quite a nice sort of box um, I ordered the petrol blue one although from Amazon next day delivery but it's saying dark tint but I've all I did order the petrol blue one but I think that's just the name they call it so uh, let's uh, open the box and see what's inside so when you open the box you've got your screen protector which is what's in the box um let's get it out have a look at the tint and there we have it so yeah i'd say that's like petrol blue color wouldn't you so uh, yeah slightly like a tint i didn't like the look of the clear one Um, so yeah you get that in the box pop that there make sure it doesn't fall and i'm guessing this is the fitting kit to be fair so. Oh, look at this. Alright, so you get your, your brackets. Get two of them. Your nuts. 
any little uh, washers and stuff and yeah fitting instructions for a speedy twin so yeah cool i will uh, open all this and we'll get it fitted obviously i'm not going to do a first ride today as you know it's absolutely awful out there so um yeah but it'd be interesting i just thought you know for the road trips coming up and stuff a bit of wind protection it might not go be a bad thing but in the, when it's nice weather i can take it off because it doesn't take long to do so uh, anyway let's get this uh, get this fitted cool just open the instructions so yeah quite uh, basic instructions so it's quite easy uh, more to do you get a dart sticker though well hey um but why did i go for the uh classic version over the little piranha or the it the marlin one the bigger one well i don't find wind that bad it's just on the odd occasion so i thought i'll go for the in-between um, I think the Piranha probably looks better on the bike, however, I think the Classic's the middle ground then, isn't it? So, that's why I went for that, So because um, I don't do long touring trips all the time, it's just every so often, and when I do go on rides out, if it's a bit iffy weather, yeah, I can just chuck that on then, can't I? So, um, anyway, it looks quite simple, looks fair, uh, get put the rubber grommets in the holes in there. And then screw it onto the brackets. Brackets go onto the bike, onto the headlight thing. So, um, yeah, I'll get my tool kit and we'll get it on and see what it looks like. Where are we up to? So, I put the grommets on the screen. Uh, nice and easy, simple job. I'm now taking out the original uh, bolt which holds the headlight on side a little tip just do one side because you don't want to mess with the alignment of the uh, headlight so yeah just make sure just do one side at a time all right so and then sort of just tighten it up loosely then do the other side i'd say and then get it into the place you're happy with but then if you if you only do one side at a time it's less movement on messing around with the headlight alignment as i said all right so a little tip there and there we have it boys and girls so yeah nice and easy like 10 minute job that's why i didn't really film it it's quite uh, self-explanatory but yeah you can see see how it covers the clocks nicely nice and solid good quality uh components i know some of them said like you know it was a bit rough under the dark logo some of the reviews i read but mine seems fine fits nicely round here yeah, don't think it's too bad. I still think I prefer it naked. Um, but as a whole on a side profile, that oh, looks pretty good, I reckon. Let's have a look what it looks like from the clocks. Yeah, it's good. A bit of tucking. <laughs> right, so yeah, that's it. Obviously, all fitted. Shame about the Speedo Angels there. Yeah, I think it might be in the temperature, to be honest. And... I, I followed everything they needed to do and the, yeah it just they just weren't gonna settle very well so yeah I wouldn't bother but um, I'm sure other people have managed to do it and it will protect your dials if you do fit them right I'll say I'm no expert but I'm pretty handy at doing most things and yeah they they're just they just weren't the best so uh, so yeah that's my recommendation is don't bother but hey up to you but that said everyone's different but um yeah, screen, obviously, yeah, I'm not going to get a first ride out with this weather, so um, I will do a first ride reviewing the screen, the front fork brace, because uh, I haven't been uh, done a review since I've had that, see if I noticed much difference. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Don't forget to join us on Facebook, and uh, the next vlog will be the following Saturday, as usual. See you later. Bye.